So when you have your marriage and any difficulties, don't share that with a coworker or friend of the opposite sex. Because when an opposite sex person is listening to you, what are they probably going to say? Ditch the guy. Oh, you are so misunderstood. He I doesn't can't understand believe. you. You know, you deserve somebody that would understand you and treat you better. And so the opposite sex person often is not very objective. They may actually be interested in you. So be careful with that. If you're a guy, share with a guy. Go for an older man to talk to uh, about this and don't go to a younger woman who may think, mm -hmm. when, when we talk about building a fence, building a hedge around our marriages, Ed's grandfather had around their property planted shrubbery when it was very, very small and he tended it and groomed it carefully and it was the thickest hedge of a little cat or rabbit could scoot under the fence but a person could uh, under the hedge but a person couldn't have walked through it it was so dense it was so thick and that's what we want to do is build these hedges these fences around our relationship share your dreams your hopes with your spouse not again a friend or co-worker of the opposite sex your spouse needs to hear your dreams and your hopes and all this good stuff you know, one of the things also as a counselor, I've had some people who become kindred spirits. Maybe it's over a community service project or something at work, and it doesn't include the spouse. Guess what? You start building this tie of friendship with someone who's not your spouse. Well, we have so much in common. I don't have that in common with my spouse. And it's okay, really not. Many affairs start over intense projects and innocent projects together. So be careful about that. You know, does your spouse know where you are, both physically and emotionally? One of the things that we've always, there are times, and this will come up in another, another point, but we pretty much know, I know that he's at his office, or I know that he's gonna be out running some errands today. We don't take off and just not tell our spouse where we're going. And so if I do on rare occasion have lunch with a female colleague, I let Ron know about that. By the way, I'm going out with so-and-so to lunch. We're talking about this. And, uh, and so we, I share. She knows where I am. When she was in the building industry. There, there was a time. I was a general contractor for a number of years. I built uh, homes, custom homes. And there were times when I needed to be with a client, somebody I needed to be driving around with them, picking out their roofing, picking out their countertop material, the cabinet material. And I would always tell it, by the way, I'm going to be with this person today where here's what we're going to be doing. And it wasn't checking in or getting my approval, but it was just letting me know because she's my best friend. But it brings a little bit of accountability there that you're not trying to hide anything. And so think about it. Do you keep secrets from your spouse? And if you do, you're on a slippery slope. Um, two weeks ago now, or last week? It's been a long time uh, in just a week. But anyway, uh, Rhonda was getting an award at a dinner that she was actually doing photography for as a volunteer, and they were giving her the Volunteer of the Year Award. She wouldn't tell you that, but I'll brag on her about that. And so um, I was supposed to keep a secret, and oh, I hated having to keep that secret, even though it was a good one. Well, you know, you may have a hard time with that too, but be very mindful. Don't keep secrets from your spouse. Don't flirt with friends or coworkers. You know, it may be fun banter. You know, I was in a situation one time when I was with a good friend of mine and we were together with a gentleman who was showing her some property. She was thinking about, they were thinking about buying a new home. And the flirting going on between them I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. And she was somebody that I knew I trust. And I felt like she would never get involved with somebody else. But just this little banner back and forth about how hot it was in here and uh, back and, you know. Let's go check out the upstairs. And is there in the bathroom and the guy says, yeah, it, it is hot in here. Boy, have being in here with a hot, you know, hot woman in a hot place. And Let's go. I was just, kind of, ah, this is terrible don't ever flirt and say things to someone of the opposite sex it's it, just not appropriate it may work as a pickup line as a single but you're not ready 
Uh, You're not trying to pick someone up or be picked up. Yes, so be careful with one-on-one -on -one discussions over lunch. Uh, go out with a group of people. Try not to be in the other person's company of the opposite sex when it's not your spouse. You know, one of the other things is we do find people engaging. We don't become blind or deaf when we're married. And so if you are attracted, you find someone interesting, their personality or their looks remind you of maybe somebody you had a crush on in your earlier years, be honest about that and then take a step back and make sure the hedges in your life, the boundaries, the fences are there. Reinforce them. 